Hello, my name is Arturas and I am manager of the FreeDev project. Uh, so welcome to very first uh, Dart tutorial. And in this tutorial, before we actually begin creating any apps, we first need to download something called the Dart editor. And for all you new Dart developers over here, this program lets you write uh, Dart code and actually compile and run it. And what is compile? It basically means uh, transferring the code that you can understand to the code that computer can understand. But not actually in this case, because Dart compiles code only to JavaScript. And there is actually a few ways how you can run your Dart apps. The first one is that you can run your Dart app via Darshim. And Darshim is a Chromium-based browser that includes the Dart virtual machine. So with that browser you can execute Dart apps directly without compiling your code to JavaScript. And the second way how you can run your Dart app is to compile it to JavaScript and then you will able to run your app in all modern mobile and desktop browsers but you don't need to worry about compiling right now because we're going to use dart editor which will do all that work for us so just follow me and you will able to write dart code and actually the i think actually the first thing what you need to do is open up your favorite browser uh, and go to the website dartlang.org and what you want to look for is dar download now button click on that and this will give you a bunch of different dart downloads but just for now you will need to download a full package from everything you need section over here uh, so just select your os and bit version and download it um i am already have this downloaded so i will skip that but once you download it you will need to unzip the package and you will be ready to go so once you unzipped the package go to your dart directory and from here you will able to run your dart editor so let's run it and loading and as you can see it's very nice uh, editor it's very similar to eclipse editor and it's actually very easy to use. So in next tutorial, we're gonna be talking about this editor. And I think we gonna going to learn how to create uh, a simple application and how to run it and you know, all that simple stuff. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and see you guys next.